Watch how I made this bomb seafood rice, fam. Stay tuned. Season Yaya's catering, original spicy blend. I really put that on everything. Yaya's catering, original that soul food spice. Only seasoning you need to have your food taste right. Hey, you guys, make sure you hop over to my website to order up your all purpose seasoning, free shipping on all orders. What is popping, my YouTube fam? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. On the menu today, you guys, we are going to make some seafood rice. And I'm hoping that this pan is going to be deep enough and wide enough for everything to fit in. But that's a whole nother story. So in my rice, we are going to do some colossal shrimp. We are going to do some crab legs. And we are going to do some, ooh, what's up, y'all? Jumbo scallops. That is it. I'm not going to do any sausage or nothing like that. I just want straight up seafood and rice. Oh, yeah, y'all. And I also seen this at the grocery store. I always pass it, and I'm like, let me try it. So I'm not doing... Before the food police, hop in the comments. I'm not doing a traditional, authentic, I think you pronounce it paella, okay, which is a delicious Spanish dish. I'm just making some seafood rice. I'm not going to call it paella, 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 okay, but I do want to use the seasonings and the rice that comes in this pack because I think it's just going to set it off so good. So that's the rice, um kit that we'll be using you guys see my seafood and i think what i'm gonna do <clears throat> now usually you get your rice going um from from what i've seen but i think that i want to cook off my seafood first um and then do my rice okay i want to let my rice cook in that seafood goodness so let me see here now I have on one glove because I my now this is so weird, y'all. Because let me tell y'all something about me. I can eat shrimp all day, but if I touch raw shrimp, it will tear my skin up. I'm talking about allergic reaction like a mug. I don't know what it is. It's just like flares my eczema. It flares my like. It just flares it out, but it's so weird because I can eat it. So weird. So that's why you guys see me with the one glove on, like Michael Jackson. But let me give my shrimp. My shrimp is already clean and washed. Let me just give it one more good rinse. And we are going to get these bad boys right in here and like i said y'all pretty boring stuff i'm about to sear off my shrimp and i'm gonna sear off my scallops the crab legs i think i'm gonna wait until um the i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for the crab legs because you know crab legs come fully cooked so i'm gonna wait with those and do those at the last minute when i add everything else back in but y'all i just woke up and had to taste for this today i don't know why I'm always just doing stuff, but cooking is fun. Cooking is fun. Cooking is fun and cooking is therapeutic, at least for me. I don't know about you, but at least for me. So our shrimp is in. Nice little fat babies. Turn my fire up a little high. Boom, boom. And I'm going to, because I could have did this before. I have no idea why I didn't, because I'm talking too much probably. Now I could take off my one glove. But, y'all, I forgot to season it. I do want to hit it with a little bit of seasoning. And I'll show you guys what I'm using. I am using some, ooh, there you go. Seafood seasoning, Creole bomb. That badia, that badia, man, they know they can make it. I'm telling you. We're going to keep it right in the family and go in with some complete. Okay. And we are also going to do a sprinkle of Old Bay. And we just going to let these bad boys cook. And right in the same pan, I'm going to add some more, some more water. I'm going to add some more um, 
once the shrimp is browned, I'm going to add in some more butter, sear off them scallops, y'all. So I'm not going to bore you with this process. I'll probably just speed it up for you and I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam, welcome back. So my seafood is all cooked off right here. We'll add it back to the pot at the end. So right here, you guys, we have all that good flavor and we are about to add in more butter. And we are going to add in our veggies, which is um, bell peppers and some shallots. Nicely small, sm uh, nicely diced. So we have yellow bell peppers, orange, red, and green, and a shallot. So let's add in. I don't think I'm going to need all of this. So, I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to need all of it. And I really don't want, I just want my uh, veggies to sweat just a little bit. I do not want them super mushy. I just want them to sweat down a, a little bit. And also to that, yeah, that's all I'm going to add. That's all I'm going to add, y'all. That's all I'm going to add, y'all. And I'm also going to add in some minced garlic that is already minced because I'm too lazy to mince the fresh garlic. And I love garlic so I'm dope I'm going in with two tablespoons of garlic and like I said I'm just gonna sweat these veggies down oh y'all let me tell y'all so I told y'all that remember I told y'all I never used the um this kit right so I'm thinking it come with rice and a seasoning package right why in the world did it come with the rice okay great right but why it also came with the jar of seafood y'all no ma'am we are not gonna use this i'm pretty sure it is great i'm not using that um i'm not using it because number one i don't really i squid i and i don't know what cockles is mussels i've been stopped eating those and i don't know what hake is okay I'm pretty, look at that. It got a lot of flavor in it, I'm sure. But y'all, it's in a can. Uh uh. No. Nope. So, no. I did not think that that kit was going to come with some seafood in a can, y'all. I was like, what in the world? Uh uh. Yeah, I can't use that. I know, I know, I know it's just going to, it'll probably make it pop, but we just going to use the rice. And I'm just keeping it real. Uh uh. So, like I said, I don't want to do too much. I just wanted to get all of them. See how all those good flavors came up from the bottom? So, that's really all I want to do because this is also going to cook in the um, chicken broth, which we are about to add right now. So, right here, I'm going in with, I'm lying. I just lied to y'all. We're going in with the rice first. Going in with our rice. Booyah. And now I'm hoping, yeah, this should be enough rice. I'm being greedy. This definitely should be enough rice. So, boom. Let's get out of stir. You can see the nice seasoning right here. Nice seasoning that came in with the rice. And we're just going to stir that up. Let all those flavors unite. Yes, yes. This is going to be good, y'all. And it's really not a wrong way or a right way to do it. I promise you it's not. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. That's probably going to... See, this is why I wanted to use this rice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could use any white rice. You could use plain rice. You could use uh, yellow rice. Really don't matter. <laughs> really, really don't matter. I just want it to be a little tiny bit extra today. So, boom. Now, we go in there. We're going in with our um, chicken broth. That's two cups right there, but I am going to add two more cups. Because we're about to let... Excuse my dog. She just rude. Can't mind her. Somebody in the background uh, pumping her up right during my video. That's okay, though. So, y'all, that's four cups of water I put in here. I'm not really going by the package. 
because I because I'm doing my own thing. Okay, excuse my dog, y'all. Excuse my dog. Look at that. That looks so good and it smells so good already. What? That's gonna be bomb. So boom. I'm also gonna go in with a large tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay. Boom. And we are just gonna mix that in just like that. Just like that. So towards the end. Okay, so y'all, this is what I'm going to do. I'm about to let this come to a nice simmer. Okay? We're about to let this come to a nice simmer. After it comes to a nice simmer, I'm going to add in. Let me grab this without cutting myself on the top of this can. We're going to add in some pigeon peas. Okay? Then we are going to let it simmer some more. Then after that, we are going to add in our beautiful snow crab and, and our seafood that we cooked off. And y'all see it come together. It's, you know, it's, it's levels to it. It's levels to it. It's just going to be some bomb flavorful rice, y'all. Really nothing to it. Bomb flavorful rice. I am going to taste this broth really quick to make sure it is to my liking thus far. Let's taste it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's flavor. Dang. Now that's some flavor up in there. What in the world did they season that with? Mmm, then you got them flavor bits from when I did the seafood with the butter. Yeah, this is going to be real good. This is going to be real good, y'all. Look, I did not got all serious and quiet. Look, let me get off of here. We're going to let it come to a nice simmer. And then we go get to building it up. But stay tuned. Okay, fam. This is what the rice is looking like after we went ahead and added in our pigeon peas. Oh, my. I know y'all see all that flavor. I know y'all do. Why y'all trying to act like y'all don't? I know y'all see all that flavor. Please stop playing. This is going to be so good. So, y'all. I'm going to let this cook for another, like, 15 minutes. And then I'm going to add in probably another 20 minutes. Then I'm going to add in the crab legs. And the crab legs is just going to infuse with that flavor. So when you crack open that claw or that crab leg, all this juice. Yup. I ain't even talking no more. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. We are at the finish line. We have about a little under 10 more minutes to cook for the rice. As you can see, I added in my um, crab legs. I went ahead and re-added in the shrimp and the um, scallops. And actually, we're not even looking like, we're looking like, mm, you know, the crab legs is already fully cooked. We're looking like, like another six minutes. That's why I only partially cooked the uh, shrimp and scallops so they won't be overcooked. So... As soon as that juice cooks out, we are going to be rocking and rolling. I think what I'm going to do is, because I want like a pretty little char on the top. I, I want a char on the top. So I think I'm going to just, um, after it's done, I'm going to set it underneath the broiler, you guys, for like three minutes. Not even three minutes, probably two minutes. But you guys will see the finished result. Just stay tuned. That made a big old pot too, y'all. Look at that big old frying pan. Big old frying pan full. So I got to get the lid back on, guys. So stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam. Here is the finished result. As you can see, I went ahead and toasted up some baguettes to go along with it. But it came out nice. It came out flavorful. Um, as it cools down, the uh, seafood is just going to be soaking up those juices. Everything came out pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. You see the crab, the shrimp, all that good stuff. We got a little, uh, some scallions at the top for our garnish. And yes, you guys, this is what my take on seafood rice came out like. Crab legs down there. Them crab legs going to be something crazy. 
them crab legs gonna be something crazy. Sure but is. you but you guys, Boy, thank you, you so much for tuning in. Well, Cannot wait to see you until the next can't babe, you messing up my outro. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, excuse the greedy people in the back. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Mwah.